Okay, right, cool. Hey, what is going on guys? Uh, Drew Taylor here and just shooting the short video with my good friend, Paul. Um, say what's up, Paul. How's it going guys? All right. And so I'm actually sending you guys this video. As mentioned, I told you I'd get a video out uh, in regards to the post I'd put up on my wall uh, regarding the um, well, kind of what we've done this accelerated savings account. Um, it's uh, something that actually I was introduced to uh, by Paul and a few of our other friends. And um, as you guys know, I love to travel, love to meet new people, get out and explore the world. And uh, that's kind of my mission here for 2019. And so I've been putting together a handful of different income streams over the years. And um, there's several that not everybody is able to do or even wants to do, whether that's, um, you know, online marketing over, you know, or you know, anything building out online stores, Shopify, all that kind of stuff, drop shipping. But the ones that I'm sharing with you guys are typically the ones that anybody can jump into. And that's why I'm so ecstatic about this because uh, it's nothing I'd ever heard of before. And I'd never found any sort of product that does this. And so I really wanted to introduce you guys to Paul here because um, Paul is a big, big name in the business world, has been for many, many years. And um, just like myself, um, we're very focused on growing our net worth, growing our portfolios. And so he's usually got his ear to the ground. And so anything this guy says, I definitely listen to. Um, believe it or not, I had a few, few people talk to me about um, how all this works a couple of months ago or tried to, but I shut them down. Um, I wasn't interested. Um, I didn't really, uh, you know, they just don't hold the same place uh, in my heart and in my, um, you know, respect that Paul does. And so I just wanted to allow him to come on here, explain how all this works. And so Paul, if you kind of want to give us a little bit of a lowdown um, on how this works, like yeah. I said, we've dubbed it this, uh, you know, accelerated savings account. And the reason why is because it's, it's very easy to grasp the concept that way. And so if you guys, if you want to kind of go in, um, tell people how you found out about this, um, really what it comes down to, it's a software, how this software works, you know, what intrigues you and, um, and yeah, I'll let, let you take it from here, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you so much, Drew. Uh, what's up, guys? My name's Paul. Uh, I live here in Portland, Oregon, currently sitting in bed because, you know, why not? Um, a lot of noise actually downstairs, so that's mostly the reason. That being said, uh, I'll give you a little bit about my background. Uh, you know, I've stayed away from most businesses this last five years. And what I mean by that is it's discernment. For me, you know, is this something that I see myself doing the next five years? So for the last five years, I really, you know, I've been around the marketing space. I've seen a lot of companies, a lot of products, a lot of different deals. You know, you can launch your own drop shipping store. I've tried that. You know, your own e-com store. I've tried that. Network marketing. I've tried that. I've tried all of these different ways of making money online. Affiliate marketing through JVZ ClickBank. I've tried it all. And it's good stuff. But at the end of the day, you're always going to get approached with another shiny object. And for me, it just wasn't the case, right? So I stayed away from most things, not because they weren't great opportunities or products, but a lot of the times it was because for five straight years, I hadn't found anything that I felt in terms of my integrity that I was selling to someone that whether or not they shared it, whether or not they went and sold it, they would consistently pay for that product. I'll give you an example, ClickFunnels. Right. So ClickFunnels is just an online affiliate type program where you can upload landing pages, capture pages, um, sales pages, you name it. And every single month, if that product, I use it to make more money, right, than I put into the product itself, I'm going to continue to pay for it. Why would I stop paying for something that makes me more money? So I was kind of on the lookout for a product like that. Um, and then a, and a couple of years ago, I remember I learned one of the biggest financial lessons of my life. I was sitting out in Maui, uh, my ex-girlfriend's, um, um, one of her, her relatives actually lived out there and he was very well off. He had a beautiful home overlooking the ocean. Um, and we started talking, you know, he's a pretty smart dude. We started talking. I started asking him questions about finances. He was already retired. He was hanging out with grandchildren. Um, at one point he told me, you know what, Paul, when you're young, start a 401k. And I was like, oh, that's, that sounds interesting. I know I've heard about those things. I've never had one. Uh, but I do know that I read the Tony Robbins book and 401ks aren't the, necessarily the best way to go now. 401k was actually invented and it was an experiment in 1984 as a retirement plan for a lot of the, the population that what we call now the baby boomers, right? 
And so for his generation, it made sense. Get a 401k and on average, every single year, you know, return you about eight to 10% annualized. Eight to 10% of an account. So for example, if I have 100k that year, I would have made 8k. Some employers match. My current girlfriend's mom, her, 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 her mom works at uh, the biggest hospital in all of Oregon called OHSU. And she's been there for 20 plus years. She's one of the head honchos in terms of their, their organizational staff. And on that staff, her pension pays her 36% per year. That's huge. No one's making that on a 401k. Yet at the end of the day, I, I realized something about this gentleman. He was very well off because he started saving consistently at a young age and putting away into an account that grew. And eventually after 20 plus years, if he was hedged correctly and properly, that money would outgrow what he was making every single year on his job. That's what you call exponential growth. And that's what we call a retirement plan. So I was on the lookout for something that would actually like make money. Uh, my friend Trung approached me about seven months ago and said, dude, I want you to take a look into this. And immediately kind of like Drew, I turned him down. Not because you know, it wasn't a great product, but because at the end of the day, I was just skeptical about most things and I didn't keep an open mind. So I turned him down three months later, he approaches me again and shows me his phone <laughs> and it was ridiculous. I saw in three straight months he had earned, and this was in his accounts. He was playing a little bit more aggressive and I'll give you realistic expectations. 15% per month for a total of 45% in three months. Now do the math. Annualized returns for this man that was very, he was older, he was in his uh, late 60s, owned a beautiful ma beachside mansion in Maui, living the life, told me the plan was do a 401k, start planning for your retirement while you're young, and let your money grow and grow and grow and compound, okay? And so I decided that obviously that's, that's the case. This kid in three straight months used a product that consistently, all it did was take his money, invest it in a market, and consistently return 15% three months. Then I saw the next three months, same exact returns, closer to 12%. And so I did the math, at eight single percent per month, 8%, which is on the low end of this deal, you're earning 96% per year, you're outperforming the best returning hedge fund in 2017. I don't know 2018's numbers yet, I don't know. If you don't know what a hedge fund is, it's simply this a fund for a special fund reserved for the special and ultra wealthy or rich. Unless you're an accredited investor worth a million dollars, not including your household, you can get involved in what you call a hedge fund. And what's so valuable about a hedge fund is not only is it good for protecting your monies, but it can make the rich a lot more money than your average fund. It'll make you more money than your average. Oh, I don't know if you cut there. It'll make you more money than your average mutual fund, your 401k, your Roth IRA, your Roth 401 um, pension programs, um, any stock, any broker, any financial bank. If you go to your bank right now and try to invest money with them, ask them if they can return you 50% a year and they're going to call you crazy. But I found a product that actually does that. If you do 5% per month on average, and this is a potential, I'm, I'm saying potentials because I'm not a financial advisor, number one. Two, I, it's illegal for me to guarantee you anything, but we can show you the numbers and what we've been earning. And it is absolutely ridiculous on complete autopilot, which is why I call this an accelerated savings account, an accelerated retirement program. I mean, we're literally compressing time frames. So it takes most people, like this older gentleman, 30 years to finally get to that point where you can do something like that will take us five to seven years. Proven numbers, right? So think about it. I've learned that over 10, over 15% of Americans have 10,000 plus dollars in their savings account. Now, when you think of savings, right, it's important to save. Matter of fact, we're always taught it's good to save, but saving for the sake of, uh, of saving sake is not a good way to save. Or in this case, what do you do then? You save to invest. So in my, it, it, like if I had 10,000 sitting in a savings account right now, and I were you, I would never leave all 10,000 in the savings account. I'll give you an example. In 1996, Michael Jordan earned a total of $33.1 million. In today's money, that one single season would be worth $53 million. That's a $20 million increase, the exact same in terms of buying power, the exact same, that's a 2.18% inflation rate per year. And if you do the math on that, no savings account right now in terms of the bigger banks, not even actually credit unions, smaller ones, are returning you even 1% per year to hold your money and loan it out at premiums of 22 to 28% on credit cards. Make your money, make them more money while you're losing. It's like I have my money in an account and it's like allowing a little mouse to chip away at that every single year, day by day, bit by bit. I am losing money by letting this piece of paper sit in there. 
So what do you do with your money? You can't leave it in a savings account, right? Because at the end of the day, you're going to lose money. So instead, why don't you go for something that not only beats inflation, but starts to earn you money on top of that, make your money work for you. This is how Warren Buffett got so rich. And the rule, two rules of investing, according to Warren Buffett, who's the richest investor in the world in terms of actual investments. Number one, don't lose money. Rule number two, see rule number one. Why is it that the richest man who makes more in a fiscal year than most people do in multiple lifetimes doesn't say rule number one, make more money? Do you notice that? Like when you actually think about it, the best investor in the world who makes tons of money every single year says rule number one, don't lose money because he understands something that most people don't. While most people are out here trying to beat the markets and get stupid returns every single year, I got 40% this year, I got 50% this year. They're not thinking about what could happen in one single bad year. A rising tide raises all ships. What that means is in any good market year, anyone can tout good returns. Your broker can kind of approach you and say, give me your money and I'll make you more money. And most people, they get addicted to that. It's like, yeah, dude, you made me more money. Here's more of my money. And then in one single bad year, they lose most of their portfolio and they're back down to scratch. Where now they don't have more time to invest again to get to this point where they have compounding growth. And I want to show you guys how that looks. And sorry, I'm in a rush right now because I got to get rolling. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how that looks. And it's pretty wild what you can do when you have the right investment opportunities. Without the right investment opportunities, it's easier to lose money over the long haul and never make money. I got to find that tab. I don't know where it is. Oh, here we are. Okay. So if I were to take a compounding calculator right now, okay. And I, let's say I put $5,000 into an account and I did what? 10% per month. Cause on average, what we're doing currently, okay. A potential by the way is 10 or excuse me, eight to 12% per month for every single individual, um, you know, person here on smaller accounts, we'll show you what that software looks like. If you don't have $5,000, totally fine. What if it took you a year to do this? Okay. And we did that for a period of 12 months, which is a year. Let's take that money. $5,000 turns into $15,000. I challenge every single one of you that's watching this video to go find one single broker, your bank, your, your financial advisor, anyone who knows how to invest money to say, will you invest $5,000 for me and return me $15,000 in a year? They'll call you nuts. They'll call you nuts. We're consistently doing 120% per year outperforming by double the highest returning hedge fund. This is for smaller amounts. I'm not talking about once you get into the millions. This is to help people make their first million just using an investment. Now on that same situation, if I did this over a period of a car loan, which is 60 months, even if it took a year, call it a six year plan to get $5,000. Calculate that. That's $1.522 million. Now, is that realistic? Probably not. If you made a quarter of that or half of that, would you still be happy? Yes. Why is it not realistic? Because you can't leave all of your money in the same account, right? Like you have to move money around here and there. On that note though, look, it doesn't really take off in terms of compounding growth seriously until about year four. So you have to wait four years to really see this growth. Now the growth that we're seeing right here per month is what most people in most accounts see per year. So that means it takes them a lot longer than four years to get to this point in the terms of compounding growth, more like 20. And what happens is if they entrust their money to someone who doesn't really hedge it correctly or properly protect it, what happened in 2008 to everyone, everyone took 80 plus percent losses. That means you have to start over. Mm -hmm. How many more times can you start over to finally take advantage of this compounding growth? See the wealthy people like Warren Buffett straight up, they know that it's not how much I can consistently earn in a single year. It's how much I can win over sustained periods of times without losing. When everyone else is right here and they take a major hit and get back down to year number one, two, I maybe take a year long hit and I can continue to move up this chain where finally out here, I'll never out earn this in a single year at any job. I'll never out earn this in a single year at any job. Are you starting to follow the picture? When you have a tool that's powerful enough to do these types of returns, and we can prove those numbers, I'm not saying this out of like thin air, we have the numbers to prove it, Drew has the account to prove it, I have the account to prove it, um, there's about a thousand other plus people that have the account to prove it. It's literally all it's doing is taking your money, automatically investing it, and uh, you're gonna see some crazy returns. So I'm really excited about that, guys. Uh, Drew, do you think there's any questions that people are gonna have after this call? Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, you know, be a lot of people who are just kind of asking, you know, what is it? How, how does it work? Um, you know, is it safe? Things along those lines. Okay, so I like that. So let me answer those, those couple of questions. Right now we're taking, if you don't want to, if you want to know the markets, the Forex market. 
But this software is so powerful that not only does it automatically trade for you and take trades that it's going to consistently win, on the trades that it thinks it's going to lose, it hedges itself out. If you want to know what that simply means is, you know, I place a bet that the money's going to, or excuse me, the market's going to move up immediately. This software is so powerful in terms of its AI technology that within seconds, if it recognizes based on mathematical equations and indicators that the market's going to go down, it places an equal hedged bet that when it goes down, it exits at both trades. And Drew will show you exactly what that looks like on his account. It's pretty powerful. It exits at both trades where you never take a loss. So we never have to start over, number one. Two, is your money safe? Well, in the 2008 market crash, if you had a 401k or, or any f sort of a pension program even, right, most situations with retirement plans, what happened is their money is actually tethered in markets or mutual funds. Meaning the moment that that market crashed, their money was gone. Now, there's another rule of investing that most people don't take advantage of because they're not prepared for it. And Warren Buffett calls that buy when there's blood in the streets. If you're cash rich in a market where everything tanks, you can go buy more real estate for the price of four pieces of real estate. You can buy, you know, excuse me, for the price of one piece of real estate when things were high and good, you can buy four to five pieces of real estate when things are bad, right? So how are we not tethered in a market? This thing enters the market with a, a very small percentage of your account at any specific given time. And what it does is it scalps. So it looks for opportune times to trade and it'll be inside of a trade for an hour, maybe two hours tops, upwards of sometimes even just minutes. It'll enter and then the price moves and it pulls out and you make a profit consistently. Okay, so time you're not tethered in the markets. Now, if you wanna pull out, cause it's like a savings account, it's as simple as it's like a bank account, except this is called a broker. All you do is request a withdrawal and within usually, depending on the broker, there's thousands of brokers, just like there's thousands of banks. Uh, depending on the broker, three to five business days, the money should be back into your actual account. So there's no penalty, major penalties. Obviously, you charge a small fee, but it's not like a major deal. Um, Drew, any other questions before I get rolling? Uh, no, man. Um, I really, I think that's it. I think um, a lot of the other questions will come in. Um, you know, as things go along here. And so at that point in time, obviously I'm happy to answer them and then also uh, get people back in touch with you and some of the other guys that we're working with, um, you know, as we move forward here. So I don't want to overwhelm people with too much information. Um, it's something I'm excited about. Information on the investing side of things. And so here's the reality, guys. If you have questions and you're like, I didn't get most of that, I do talk quite, you know, quick sometimes. I do, I just, I guess if, if you could take two main points, number one, start saving when you're young. I got on an Uber ride with a woman who was driving for my Uber and I asked what was her career because uh, she was retired. She said, for 40 years I was in banking. And I said, wow, that's interesting. 40 years in banking. Tell me, if you could leave me right now with one thing before I get out of the car that you've learned from all of your years in the financial system, what is it? She said, start saving young. I said, did you? She said, no. I had a child and I had a hard time being disciplined about where I put my money. She said, if I would have treated even $100 like a bill every single month and I did that consistently and I treated it like a bill, it was I had to be paid, I would have not had to be driving Uber right now, number one. So start yeah, saving good. Two, always look for better financial investment opportunities. And so whether th that's this or not, and if you didn't understand all these deals, I can show you actual numbers of what most – opportunities look like and why this is so powerful and valuable, how we take advantage of that market, what that looks like. Um, because I've been skeptical for quite a while too, guys. Like I haven't put my money anywhere where I wasn't 100% feeling safe about it for five straight years. I didn't touch anything, uh, mostly due to the reason, like I said, I was doing a lot of client work. I was helping businesses grow, but in terms of what I actually wanted to promote and share with people, uh, I felt more confident about this than I have about anything else. And I know Drew is actually in the same boat. You know, he's an old school long-term marketer for quite a while. He's been burned to different deals. Uh, and when he looks into something and he, he promotes it, it's because he actually believes that, that, well, it works and he has the numbers to prove it. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and get back to Drew. Uh, if you want to ask me any questions that Drew can't answer, uh, you know, Drew will get you in contact with me. Yep. Awesome. Awesome, bro. Uh, Appreciate your time, bro. Dude, thank you for coming on, man. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I think it answered a lot of questions for a lot of people. And anything else, just reach out to me, guys, and uh, we'll reach in touch with Paul and some of the other guys that we're working with um, who've been, you know, doing this for quite some time. And uh, we'll get those questions answered. So, awesome. Thank you guys awesome. very much. Have a good one, guys. Later, bro. I got to get rolling. All right, bro. Appreciate it, man. Drop yeah. that over my way whenever you get a sec. Yeah, send that out as soon as possible, too. I'll, I'll get that to you right now. Let me stop recording.